Dear friends in Christ, do you know people who are always determined to do their job well and who will finish any project entrusted to them? Whether there were thousands who listened to Jesus or whether he was alone in the Garden of Gethsemane, he was always ready to continue his mission and finish it until his last breath. He came to do his Father's will, that's it. No matter the circumstances, he followed what God wanted him to do. We know that he spent most of his life in Nazareth. When his time came, he left his hometown and went out to proclaim the good news of salvation. He chose his first twelve disciples, then others joined the group as well. He wanted his followers to do what he was doing without any excuses. In today's Gospel we read that he summoned the twelve and began to send them out in pairs, giving them authority over the unclean spirits. He sent them to proclaim repentance for the forgiveness of sins, perform deliverance casting out devils, and to anoint sick people with oil. As a result, they were cured. In his letter, St. James explained what the anointing was all about. He wrote, Is any man sick among you? Let him bring in the priests of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord and the prayer of faith shall save the sick man. Jesus sent his disciples two by two and asked them not to take much with them so that they could easily go and come back to him to report the outcomes. He gave them all the authority that had been given to him by his father. Clearly, they were going out under his supervision. They had to learn how to evangelize. He also told them, if any place does not welcome you and people refuse to listen to you, as you walk away, shake off the dust from under your feet as a sign to them. In the time of Jesus, many people walked barefoot. However, the first time when he sent them out, Jesus ordered his disciples to wear sandals. Maybe because he didn't want them to hurt their feet or he wished them to walk faster. But we know that the time came when he requested from them not to wear sandals. In this case, they probably didn't have to go far, or he wanted to challenge them further. Jesus asked the apostles, When I send you forth without a money bag, or a sack, or sandals, were you in need of anything? No. Nothing, they replied. They had to learn to trust Jesus totally. In 2016, I was honored to participate in the Eucharist with many priests coming from different parts of the world. We were concelebrating the final Mass with Pope Francis during World Youth Day organized in Krakow. In his homily, the Pope said to the crowd of three million that some of them shouldn't continue to be couch potatoes doing nothing about their faith. He asked them to go out and share their experiences of the living God with their friends. He asked them not to be afraid and trust in God's providence. Brothers and sisters, we too are called to leave our comfort zones and try to be missionaries beginning with our family members. We all have to share the gospel message using all good means available to us, including the media. Blessed Francis Jordan used the press often because he said that his homilies could reach more people. I'm sure that if he lived today, he would use the internet in spreading the Christian faith. If you think that you are not equipped enough to share your faith with others, Please listen to what St. Paul has to say. Blessed be God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all the spiritual blessings of heaven in Christ. Before the world was made, he chose us, chose us in Christ, to be holy and spotless, 
and to live through love in His presence. God chose you and me to be holy and to use His spiritual blessings daily. Also, let us imitate the prophet Amos from today's first reading, who said to Amaziah, I was a shepherd and looked after sycamores, but it was the Lord who took me from herding the flock, and the Lord who said, Go, prophesy to my people Israel. And he did. May this Sunday's Liturgy of the Word be a strong encouragement for all of us to be faithful prophets and authentic disciples of the Lord.